In this lesson, we are going to learn how to multiply and divide with 10 to the power of any exponent. So here are the three rules that you need to know. First of all, when we multiply exponent with the same base, all you have to do is add the exponent together. And then if we divide the exponent with the same base, you subtract the exponent. Here we have b to the m divided by b to the n. You can rewrite this as a fraction, b to the m over b to the n. So therefore, b to the m minus n. And lastly, if you have an exponent that is written as a fraction and we want to remove the fraction, see here we have positive n and to remove the fraction we bring to the top, that will flip the sign from positive to negative n. So those are the three common rules when it comes to multiplying, dividing, or rewriting exponent with the same base. Here we have an example. We have 1.23 times 10 to the negative 3 megajoule and we want to solve for how many picojoule. When we want to convert from any prefix to another prefix, the first thing we need to do is to convert to the unit first. That is, in this case, is joule. First of all, we have to realize that the prefix represents our values. For instance, mega represents 10 to the 6. So we had to interpret the prefix in terms of a conversion factor. Here I take this megajoule and it is 1 megajoule because anything multiplied by 1 is equal to itself. So 1 megajoules, remember mega is 10 to the 6, so 1 megajoule is equal to 10 to the 6 joule. And this now has become a conversion factor that we can use to convert from one unit to another unit. Here we have 1.23 times 10 to the negative 3 megajoule, which is our given, and we time this conversion factor megajoule is right here, so therefore this megajoule part will be on the bottom because we need to cancel it out. Therefore the other side will be on top, the joule will be on top. So we have megajoule cancel out and give us, let's look at the exponent part. We have 10 to the negative 3 times 10 to the 6, so we can just add them together, negative 3 plus 6 give you the positive 3. So we have 1.23 times 10 to our third. This third is coming from negative 6 plus 6 over here. The next thing we have to do is convert this into picojoule. Again, picojoule can be interpreted as a conversion factor because the prefix pico or p equal to 10 to the negative 12. Then we apply the conversion factor. We have 1.23 times 10 to the third joule times the conversion factor because joule is right here. Joule has to be on the bottom to cancel out, so picojoule is on top. So therefore, joule is being canceled out, and we realize that this is now being divided. So what do we have to do? We have to subtract the exponent, 3 minus minus 12. Now when you minus a negative, this will become a positive, isn't it? So therefore we have 1.23 times 10 to the 3 plus 12, that gives us 1.23 times 10 to the 15 picojoule. And there you go, that is our final answer.